What's up, YouTube? George is Silver Hunter back with kind of an interesting quarter hunt, I think. Um, we're going to see how this goes, and I, I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to film it and try to keep it interesting for me and you. But I was at the bank today. They didn't have any 2020 quarters out. It was late in the day, and the vault was closed, and they didn't have any at the tellers. So I basically said, what do you have? And this is obviously from an old collection dump. We have what appears to be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rolls of bicentennials, if the wording on the outside of the wrappers is to be believed. So we are going to be looking for, I think there's a DDO on those bicentennials. Um, I know I collect bicentennials. Uh, I'll probably pull out a roll of the best looking ones, but I don't need 11 rolls or whatever that is of bicentennials. We have a roll here of 2020s, it looks like, at least the enders of 2020. So we're going to search that for a W. We have three rolls of unknowns. They were customer wrapped. They uh, didn't have a design on the enders, so I don't know what those are. We have two rolls of the Arizona. Look to be completely uncirculated, so we're going to be looking for a really nice extra cactus uh, error in these, and hopefully we can find a couple in uncirculated or barely uncirculated, uh, what's the word? I'm drawing a blank. We're going to look for them in that condition. There you go. That's the word. We then have Alaska quarters in uncirculated uh, condition. So we're going to look for some sixth claw variants. I have found a lot of sixth claw quarters, but none of them in sort of an AUBU um, condition. We have a, a roll of the Homestead Quarters. We're going to be looking for the DDRs and the snow on the roof errors on those. And we have one roll of Idaho. I don't know what the design is. I didn't want to crack it open. Uh, but we're going to look at these, and this may just be a roll that goes back. So I'm not even sure if there's an error on these. But we're going to have a look. All right, so let's jump into these rolls. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to film it. So we'll see how this video comes together. Okay, so we are going to try this more in a live stream almost set up. And just to test this out, we're going to start with these three rolls of I don't know what they are. And go from there. So if I cut myself off while talking, it's because I've decided to make some interesting cuts um, in the video. And we'll see how this goes. So this does look like it's gonna be state quarters. I've got the big scope set up here on the side so that as I open these, we can go straight into the scope view. And uh, hopefully this is fun for everybody. So here we go with a Arizona. So no extra cactus. And here we are on that first roll. We have a, a roll of uncirculated, of course, to go through, but we have our first find, a sixth claw, Alaska. Hopefully you guys can see that claw in there. I don't need to point it out, where'd it go? A little hunk of metal there between the fourth and fifth claw. So we'll put that kind of right, well, yeah, right there. You can kind of see it there in the camera still. All right, and roll number three of the unknown. Come on. Oh, coin explosion. Okay, so three rolls down of the unknowns. We did find one error. I'll show it again. Sixth claw, Alaska quarter, heavily circulated. No big deal. So now we're going to move into, oh, let's do the Alaska uncirculated. Let's find a couple of good of those. Good, good uh, six claw examples there. Let me get cleaned up. We'll move on to those rolls. All right, here we go. Hopefully I can keep all this on camera.
have a look here. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Lots of bag marks, but these are going to be uncirculated. Now, the one thing I should know that I don't, I don't know if it's the Philadelphia or the Denver. Maybe it's on both. But we're going to have a look at all of those. These are gorgeous quarters. Well, they got some they got some gunk on them, at least on the ends. So these are Phillies. I'm gonna have to work on the lighting. This is really hard to see how shiny these are. Well, that's just ugly, I can't tell. Oh, what do you guys think? Let me turn it another angle. Six claw or not? We got a lot of junk in there. I would say it is. We're gonna put that aside. And I'm gonna guess all of these are Phillies. Sixth claw, there it is. Have another Philly. Again, there's no separation there. I would go six claw. I may not even open the other rolls. There you go, there's separation. Not a sixth claw. Put that one here. See if we can keep track of how many we get versus we don't. I'm gonna say no, no to the sixth claw. Yes. Just give me a little bit more room under the scope. I would say yes. There's definitely metal in there, so I would say sixth claw. Nope. So at this point, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of them. I'm gonna take this off camera. I'm gonna take this off camera and I'll bring in, we'll do a recap of how many we think we found in this roll. So this is where I need some help from my YouTube friends out there who know this stuff maybe a little bit better than I do, but on going through that first roll of Alaska quarters, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous quarters. Um, you can see the cartwheel on them. They are, let me see if I can do this better. You know, these are largely uncirculated. They have a tremendous cartwheel. There's not, I mean, there's bag marks and there's a few scratches here and there, but they're they're beautiful quarters. Um, I'll put a few under the scope here. Every single one of these that I have listed as a 20 out of the 24 have some sort of die chip or die crack right there between the fourth and I shouldn't say die crack. It's not, it's a die chip. Kind of, uh, you know, that hunk of metal between the fourth and fifth claw, which is usually what they call the sixth claw error. So you see this one, it kind of just has like a little knot between the two. So, you know, for option one, is that is that a sixth claw? I've got another one here. If we come over here, let's see. This is the more typical, just giant hunk of metal between the two. That one looks a little different than the first one. And then we've got this guy right here with an even bigger hunk of metal. So almost every single quarter in this batch looks like one of these three. So help me out. Do those, would those all, I'm just gonna grab another one. Would those all qualify, do you think, as sixth claw variants or errors or no? So here you go, there it is. To me, this one looks most like a claw. 
because it's sharp, you know, it's kind of, it kind of has a claw look to it. But again, it's just a hunk of metal there between the fourth and fifth claw. So I have, I think, 24 in this first Alaska roll. That is a ton. I'll probably go through these and see, you know, pick out maybe the, the five or 10 nicest ones and I'll flip those up and I may throw those on eBay just to see what I get. Now, if they're only worth a dollar a piece or two, I may just, just toss them back and let another coin roll hunter find them. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, this is the rest of the, the uh, Alaska quarters that did not, uh, that did not have the sixth claw. They were very clean, you know, five claws in there. So we'll put those aside. So I have two more rolls of those. Um, rather than kind of go through them like I did in the beginning of these other two rolls, I'm gonna do something similar to what I did here. I'm gonna go through them and bring you in sort of at the end of the roll and give you a count of how many I found. Uh, I have a feeling if they're anything like the last one, we're gonna find a whole bunch of them in there. Um, and I think this is a D roll. No, that's a P. So we'll probably find a whole bunch of them. Then I'm gonna move over to the homesteads and then I will get into the bicentennials and we'll see how the rest of these quarters shape up. All right, I lied. I, wa I want you to watch me opening them because I just think these uncirculated rolls are really pretty when you open them. And let's just make sure they are all barely or almost uncirculated. Yep. Got the shine. It's beautiful. All right, let's get those out. And let's take a look at maybe the first three. Let's see what we find. So these are all in fact, or at least these first ones, Philadelphia's. And there it is, first one out of the bunch. I would have thought the sixth claw error would be more rare. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but if this does in fact qualify, it's just, it, it, to me, it seems like it's not that rare because if I'm finding entire rolls of it, uh, I'd have to imagine everybody is. So there you go, there's one that's clean. Right, coin number two, that's what it's supposed to look like. I'll do five and then I'll go off camera. Let's see here. Yep, there it is, the hunk of metal's back. So this is coin number four, clean, clean claws. And number five. There it is again, hunk of metal. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go off camera. I got a feeling this will probably be a lot like the last one. We'll find probably half the roll has a sixth claw or a, a die chip in it. See you shortly. All right, well, we finished that roll and we ended up with two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. I think there's 10 in each roll, so almost 30. Six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. So we ended up with 30 uh, Alaskan 2008 sixth claw error half dollars so again let me know in the comments down below am i crazy or are, are these not sixth claw errors or are they just die chips what do i do with all these as a matter of fact i'm not even going to go through this last roll um if more than half the roll is that that error then um i may just try to sell this roll as a, a huntable roll for ebay so we're going to put that aside i'm going to leave that all put together I now have over, assuming those are all six claw variants, over 50 of them in relatively uncirculated state. I'm gonna go put my fingers on them. All right, so next, um, we're actually gonna do these homesteads. Let's get these open. Now, if you've watched my channel, we found a lot of circulated homesteads, and this is a, a repacked roll by a customer. They look fairly uncirculated but they could have been hunted. All right, I'm having a coin explosion over here. All right, well, there you go. I'm so good with my coins. Um, we're gonna go through these. They look pretty good. They, they are circulated. They don't have quite the luster on them that the other quarters do, but they don't look bad. It's like, they don't look bad at all. But we are going to be looking for the leaky bucket um, variety. We're going to look for snow on the roof and we are going to look for the numerous DDRs for the homestead. 
All right, well, we finished the homestead quarters and we ended up with, it looks to be like eight that I thought were interesting enough to show you. And I'm not going to recap all of them, but towards the very end, let's see here, is this the right one? No, this was, uh, this was actually one that I, I threw a bunch that were back like this. If, if you look around the uh, lower four windows, it's ever so light doubling. I actually think this is one in Variety Vista. I'm a, I just kept one of them aside because it's pretty light doubling and, and I, I didn't think there'd be a ton of value in it, but I wanted to have one to check against Variety Vista. And if I find a match, I'll put it up on the screen right here um, and, and, and we'll see if it's confirmed, but just wanted to show it to you. We'll start over on this side next. Which ones were these? These were my leaky bucket and potentially snowy roof find. So I have never found a leaky bucket. There it is. Um, and on this one, we definitely, oh, this was the last one I found. Here you have just a little bit of maybe snow, but you can see I've got a lot of raised metal all the way up and around the roof. It's just not a complete like die chip, right? So what's your opinion? Is that snow on the roof or not? That is definitely a leaky bucket. So no doubt for me there. The second one is one of the first ones I showed you guys where we definitely have the leaky bucket. And on this one, I would go so far as to say that is definitely snow on the roof. I don't have any on the other side. I do have raised metal all the way around, but no, um, definitely no you know, hard snow here on the left-hand side. The rest of these are all very similar. And I don't know if, I'm, if I have a, a new, new variety or a new DDR here but I could not find this on Variety Vista. You'll see we've got a little bit of raised metal around the top of that uh, water pump and we have that sort of offshoot through the window. And I've got five of those. They all look like that. Some are in better shape than others. I have never seen that DDR and it is not on Variety Vista because I did stop to check this one out and it is not there. Where was it coming from the middle? So here are all five of them if you want to see them. You can pause the video if you want to take a closer look. I'd love to know. What do you guys think? Is that worth sending something to Variety Vista? Do you know for a fact which one that is? I don't know. But all in all, these are in really good shape. Better shape than most of my circulated homesteads. I did want to stop here because in a quarter hunt that I did not put on my YouTube channel, and this is where I want another opinion, this was another homestead quarter I found. It was the first one that looked like it might have snow on the roof. And you can see here, I've got like two little die chips above the roof. So would love your opinion on that. Does that qualify as snow on the roof? I don't think I have any on the other side. I don't. This coin is from a totally different hunt. But uh, since I've got you all here, at least hopefully you're still paying attention to the video. What do you guys think? Snow on the roof or not? Anyway, that goes off on the side because it's not part of this hunt. Okay, so what we have left is we do have, uh, where'd it go? I've got some 2020 quarters and I've got this roll of Idaho's. I just looked up on Variety Vista. There is apparently a DDR. I was unaware. I'm gonna check this roll really quickly for those. And uh, actually, let's just get these out and I'll show you where it's supposed to be. And then that way we all are working from the same page if I bring you in. And these are gorgeous Idaho quarters as well. Wow. These look really nice. So anyway, I'll just grab one. So supposedly, and this is where I'm gonna have to look at Variety Vista a little bit, and I'll put a picture of it up right here. There is some spread and doubling right there at the tip of the state of Idaho. So I'm gonna go through all these really quick. I'll bring you guys in if we find anything that looks interesting. So that was the end of the Idaho's and we found a whole lot of nothing. So those are going right back in the bin. All right, so we're gonna get into these Arizona quarters. Hopefully we find lots of uncirculated extra cactus errors because I have a lot of the extra cactus errors, but most of them are in pretty bad shape. So we're gonna try these out. Oh, I'm sure there was a better way to do that. Probably a better way to handle those, but it's okay. They're just quarters. 
So what we are looking for, for those of you that don't know, is down here underneath the main cactus off to the right of the coin. So if I can get that to focus, not that you need it to see this error because it's really obvious. There is a giant cactus covering up, or a, basically a big die chip that's covering up the initials of the artist, or at least the first initial uh, here underneath the cactus. So that is not one. Let's see if we can find one real Oh, I've got it turned sideways. That's why I can't find it. So the quarter that I spun and spun and couldn't find is one with the error. So you can see there covering the J and the F, there is a giant hunk of metal that would be caused by some sort of die chip. And that would be an Arizona error. And it is a beautiful quarter. Mostly, I would say, if that's been circulated, it's gone through the system once. That is a beautiful quarter. So we're gonna add that up here to our list of finds and we're gonna keep going. And here we are with our second find. Second find of the box, extra cactus variant or error. I am stuck on the word variant because of my days collecting comic books. So if that bugs anybody, I apologize. I know there are varieties and errors, but I have been saying variant for half of my life. And it's just tough to kick the habit. And here we are with our next find. We're probably, I don't know, got about 15 quarters left. So at this rate, we might find one or two more. For some reason, all the quarters that I have a hard time getting straight, they have the error. So there it is again. And we have a fifth one. So we ended up with five extra cactus or call it die chip error on the 2008 Arizona quarter. I have another whole roll. I don't think I'm going to get into that on this hunt because we found five really nice examples here. And I'll probably go through this one in just my spare time if I don't think any of those are worthy. Or if I just find out these are worth a lot more than I think, I'll go through them and uh, either sell this by the roll on eBay or hunt for more of those. So now we are into Bicentennial land. So I have 10 rolls of Bicentennials. I am not going to make you guys sit through watching me get, get each and every one of these under the scope. I will open this one because I love anytime I find quarters with uh, this old bank wrapping on it because you never know what might be inside. For all I know, this is a roll of silver that just says 1976 on the outside. I doubt it though. These are probably all circulated by Centennials. And it looks like they are. So like I said, I'm gonna go through these. If I happen to find um, a DDO on it, or may, I'll even check and see if there's a DDR. I think it's just a DDO. I will definitely bring you guys in. And uh, actually, I hope I find a whole bunch of them because I've never found one before and I've got lots of rolls to hunt through. So see you soon. Okay, so we are back after, I don't even remember what that was, 10 or 11 or 12 rolls of bicentennial quarters. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Good Lord. Um, I started by sorting all, I basically dumped out almost all the rolls. I started actually doing three or four at a time, separating into Philadelphia and Denver. As we know, the Denver is the only one that has a repunch mint mark or a DDO. 
So I re-rolled all the Philadelphias, the Denvers I went through, and I came up with two potential candidates for a repunchment mark and one potentially some DDO or machine doubling. Um, we'll, we'll have a look here. So I've got two. We'll start with this one, and I don't know which one is which. Um, yeah, I think this is the one that is the potential repunched mint mark. So here it is. If you look at it, you can see there's a D clearly underneath. Let me see if I can get my screwdriver here. I don't know if this is damage or truly a repunch mint mark, but you can see kind of right there, there's a D underneath that hunk of metal there. So would love your opinion down in the comments below. Looks like a repunch mint mark to me, but it could very well just be an error. Um, or not an error, uh, sorry, damage. And actually, this is kind of a shiny quarter. It's not in great shape, you can see. I mean, he's all scratched up. Um, but I had some pretty awful looking uh, bicentennials in that batch. So I didn't see any massive spreading on LIB. Um, the E, actually it looks like there's some potential doubling there. So this could actually be a DDO. So let me know about that in the comments down below as well. Let me see if I can get some different light on that. Um, but the rest of the letters, I didn't see any doubling on. So I just pulled this one aside because it's a potential. And then on the second quarter, we did have, um, when I get down here into the, the date, just some really interesting, sharp, I don't know, they, the numbers just look funny to me. So I wanted to hear from you guys. What did you think? Like on the seven, you can see just sort of some sharp edges. On the one, you've got a lot of sharp edges there. I don't know what you call that. It doesn't look like anything from Variety Vista, but all of the date looked very, very strange to me. I don't, again, I don't know if that's doubling, if it's machine doubling, I don't know. I don't think the D looks like it's terribly repunched. And again, when I come up here, I don't see any separation really on the, uh, the letters. Are they a little fat? Maybe. You guys tell me. I'm not sure. I've never really hunted these in, in a great quantity, so I really don't know what I'm looking for. As those of you know that when you start looking for DDOs and DDRs, until you, until you see one in real life, it's kind of hard to know you have one. So I'm going to just put these two aside. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments to see if you think I have anything. The condition on these two are not great, but I trust me, I had some that were a lot worse. So we'll put those over here as well, you guys can't see that, so let me uh, let me move all this stuff back over here. So we had these two finds here, potential finds anyway, in the bicentennials. We ended up with five really nice looking homes or uh, Arizona extra cactus errors, and I did leave an entire roll that I may go through separately, or I may just sell on eBay. But these five look pretty darn good. I did have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight homesteads that had either the leaky bucket or the snowy roof or some manner of DDR on the windows. I'm going to look through eBay and I'll, I'll add this as little title cards as to end the value of each of these things so you can kind of see at the end. And then I did end up with, and I don't know if these are stacks of 10 or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we'll do stacks of 10. There's 10. 20, 30, 40, over 50, I remember that, roughly, I don't know, 52 or 53 extra claw Alaska quarters. And we did have the one circulated Alaska quarter we found in those circulated rolls. So all in all, I think we found a lot. Um, as I said, I'll put some value up here from which you might be able to get on eBay just so we see how well we did. Any of the coins that I asked for comments on, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think? Um, this was a real different, real interesting hunt for me. Uh, apologies. Let me actually know in the comments if you like sort of the live stream style so you guys can see the the uh, the microscope and the, and the mat all at the same time. Just something I'm trying out. I, mean, I don't know how often I'm gonna do it. It just seemed the easiest way to do this and share the information with you guys. So hopefully you like this video. I do have another box of quarters I got to get to. And I know next week, all my halves didn't come in last week. So next week I should have seven or eight boxes to go through. So I should have a couple of videos to, to, to put out next week. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. 
Uh, hit the little bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Apologies if this ends up being a little bit long, um, but it was, it was a real different hunt for me. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.